Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Nice punch. Right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch to the Oh, nice short elbows here. Bleeding over the left eye now. Oh, hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Get his head against the back, not watching. Oh, man, that was slick. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. So just over 20 total strikes now have landed for Alexander Hernandez. Oh, and he connects with a punch. Oh, the, best he's tonight. the biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut right now. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of nice double leg takedown attempt there. And you gotta think that's something that's gonna give him confidence. All right, so he's got his head here looking to set up the guillotine choke now. Closed here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Gets up again here, but hurting. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, land the punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. He goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat. Chest to the mat. There it is. Chest to the mat. Pressure goes down. He'll start to take the air from his opponent. Hit him a few times. All right, so perhaps a little frustration creeping in as our next round gets underway. Very close to submitting his opponent in the previous round, but was unable to do it. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Oh, straight right. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Blocks the shot. Stuffs the takedown, no problems. Guida gets the tie clinch here. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Good spit. Just misses there with the left. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch 
triangle, watch triangle. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Close guard. Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> and he's able to work his way back to his feet. So 50 total strikes have landed for Alexander Hernandez. And landing with 62% accuracy thus far against Alexander Hernandez. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Ooh, big shot land. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Right hand punch to the clinch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. For a minute, he had a window there. It closed quickly. Nice strike. All right, all right. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Guida gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Just misses with the straight right. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. White punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Left hand punch to the clinch. He blocks the punch. Huge knee lands from the tie clinch. Three minutes now to go in this what one. What a big time takedown. Well, they won't need to go bonus begging after this one. They're getting a bonus tonight. This fight has been all action from the opening one. I mean, what a phenomenal fight. Both fighters should be very proud of themselves. He's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Straight punch lands. Straight right hand now just misses. Cover, cover, cover. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Look at him yank the head. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. He's going to get it, team. And he's out. Guida's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. That's a good strike right there. Wow. Actually got the takedown. 15 seconds. 
Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know no when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Clay!